Hi everyone, welcome back to the top 10 Excel functions. The next one down the list is find as well as find B, but we'll only be looking at find. The difference between these two is having to deal with double byte characters such as you may possibly be looking at working with Chinese or Korean characters. But given the fact that you're watching this in English and you're looking at the basics, we'll avoid doing the double byte characters and just stick to English. So find and find B locate one text string within the second text string and return the number of the starting position of the first string between the second string. Now we don't need to care much about these functions are not necessarily available in all languages and this is about the double byte characters which again we can move on from. The way they work is you say find and then what you want to find where you want to find it and that's pretty much most of it. The start number I will demonstrate in a moment. So let's look at a practical example and have a look at this. Let's say P, E and P again and see what they do. Find and the text we're looking for is contained in the cell next door. So that's the one. Find it here and we're not going to bother with the starting number for now. So what has happened here? P comes up as the second character in apples, E comes up as the second character in beef, but this throws an error, which is because the find function is case sensitive and you'll notice there is no small caps P in pies because it begins with a capital P. So if you want that to work, you have to make it a capital P. Microsoft suggests that if you don't want to use case sensitive, you have to use search. We're not going to do search today, but that's something for you to keep in mind. There are other ways to go by. The other thing you can do, sticking to this one, is you could say you force everything to be the same character domination. So you could say lower that and find it in lower that. And then it will work. What we've just done here is converted the whole pies into a lower pies and P remains the same. And that way it works. I want to show you what the start number does. And going back here, the start number is optional. It specifies the character at which to start the search. The first character in within text or your where is one. If you omit this, it will be assumed to be one. So if we say, you know how there's another apple P in here? If we say start at three, it will say the third. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that it will start looking at the third character. However, the position will still be returned to you as the overall position in your where to find text. So it's not going to say one or zero, even though we said start looking from the third character and words. Now, a few remarks to keep in mind. As I said, find is case sensitive and you can't do wildcards with them. If find text is nothing, find matches the first character in the search string, which will be one. You cannot have wildcards in your find text. If find text does not appear in within text, i.e. there is no actual result, you will get an error value. If your start number is zero or lower, then you will have an error issue. If your start number is greater than the length of your within text, i.e. your text is six characters long, but you say find it starting at seven, you will have an error value. This long blob here explains to you how start number works in detail. I'm not going to read it out because it's been discussed. For your convenience, it's all here. And if you have any questions about this or anything related to find, drop me a comment and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching.